Last week's revelations about the appalling money junk mail deliverers are paid brought the biggest response of any story this year. Our mailbox nearly burst with your outrage and support of the thousands of workers who trudge our streets all weathers delivering for junk mail giant Reach Media. Reach Media is half owned by New Zealand Post, which of course is kind of owned by us, the taxpayer. Yeah, Kevin, we'll get to the mail a little bit later, but first a reminder about how long it takes motivated workers to make a buck folding and delivering advertising of wealthy retailers. Workers like 13-year-old Cassie of Dargaville. 13-year-old Cassie's been delivering unaddressed mail, that's the nice word for junk mail, for four years. So Cassie, in the last four years, do you think you've been paid more or less? A lot less. It's gone to down, down to 50 cents per hundred, I think, and we used to get paid almost two dollars per hundred. That's right. What job do you know where your pay keeps going down? Reach Media are now the biggest junk mailers in the country, and that means they call the shots when it comes to pay. I'm in awe of the people out there that represent our company every single day, and I can only say again to those people a huge thank you for the work that they do on our behalf and the fact that they do an amazing job. Quite simply, Cassie and five and a half thousand other Reach Media workers are being underpaid and taken advantage of. One of the problems is they're all contractors, not employees of Reach Media, and there's no minimum pay for contract workers. Rue, there's a bill before Parliament that might help contract workers like them. Yeah, it's up for another vote in the House, actually, this time next week, basically trying to get minimum pay for contract workers. The bill has the support of the Labor, the Greens and the Māori parties, with opposition from National and New Zealand First, but it's a long way off from becoming law. Council of Trade Union Secretary Carol Beaumont is pushing to get it through. I was shocked that they were reducing rates and you know frankly I think you know a company like New Zealand Post that owns 50% of Reach Media who make the sort of you know 60 million dollar profits or whatever that they make can afford to do a lot better than that. Likewise the company they're delivering for. Couldn't agree more but what does New Zealand Post say about the pay rates offered by their subsidiary? Well work your way through this. Reach Media informs its equal joint venture shareholders of any substantial issues. Neither shareholder is engaged in the day-to-day -day running of Reach Media, but each is aware of the issues that have arisen and fully supports the actions Reach Media is taking to address them. What actions, you might ask? Hmm, we get to that in a minute. We have found, though, in the last week that in Tauranga and Dunedin, Reach Media are paying a recruitment firm, that's called Trade Staff, $19 an hour. $12 of that goes to straight to the deliverers because they can't find workers to do the job at their standard rates. But anyway, it seemed to us one way to get a pay rise for the low-paid deliverers was to approach the big, wealthy, big-name retailers who use them to get their message into their homes. Rue, you approached several of those big retailers. How did you get on? Well, I put it to five of the major brands who use Reach Media if they'd be prepared to help increase wages. We should say that none of them actually deal directly with Reach Media. That's all handled by their ad agencies. The only positive response came from restaurant brands, the huge firm behind KFC and Pizza Hut. They had this to say. As a company that has abolished youth rates, we absolutely believe that people of all ages should be paid fairly for the job they do. We watched your article last week about Reach Media with great interest and will be reviewing our current Reach Media activity. Great stuff, restaurant brands. We'll watch your progress closely. But this from Michael Hill, jeweller. Michael Hill obviously supports the concept of a fair wage system. However, we cannot comment on the distributor's financial model or their method or level of remuneration for walkers or the speed at which various walkers can distribute their catalogues. Just a bit of support, Mike's all we're asking for, not a thesis. Depressingly, it gets worse. Here's word for word in its entirety what Progressive Enterprises has to say. Now remember, this is the food giant who owns Food Town, Woolworths and Countdown stores. Many thanks for contacting us with regards to participating in a forthcoming show. At this time, we have chosen not to take up the opportunity, but thank you for thinking of us. You'd think they were replying to an invitation to a cocktail party, not considering the appalling pay rates of those who deliver their advertising. Are they progressive enterprises or dismissive enterprises? As for the warehouse and Mitre 10, they declined to make any comment on the matter. Very community-minded.
With all these retailers, sure, they don't directly employ the deliverers and it may be their ad agencies that hire Reach Media, but it's their product behind it all. They can put pressure on. After all, it's probably their customers who've expressed outrage to fair go. This week we were inundated with your support. We've also heard from lots of others who deliver for Reach Media, with similar stories to Cassie's. Take Kuhn Brokemar, that's him here delivering in the rain. He's also noticed a pay cut for his troubles. He got 600 circulars the other day to deliver to around 200 homes and received from Reach Media the grand sum of $10 for his effort. Then there's Beth, here she is on her hilly delivery round in Dunedin, 7 k's of it. She gets uh, a grand total of $3.52, that's covering 271 houses. She's worked out she's making around 3 bucks an hour. As for our mailbox, here's just a small sample of what you, the viewers, thought, starting with Jess and Clint from Gisborne. Get real, Reach Media. That's an absolute rip-off for those young kids trying to earn a bit of pocket money. Julie Jones of Auckland. I knew it was poor pay, but not that poor. Even worse that some have not even been paid. What example are you setting as an ethical and fair company to young people? Show some integrity. They should all go on strike until they get better pay or paid. Vicky Finlayson from Cambridge. It's totally unacceptable to use people in such a way. Everyone together should stand up and strike. Anamique Wilson from Gore. I think it stinks that the junk mail company pays such a little amount to our hard-working kids. What are they really teaching our kids about working and earning and saving? Alan Radford from Palmerston North. Reach Media needs to be blamed and shamed. Pay like this does not teach kids that work is worthwhile and discourages those who try. Finally, Janet Wilkins from Hamilton. Good on you for exposing this disgraceful exploitation and what weasel words from the CEO. He deserves some award for the worst case of meaningless management speak I've heard for a long time. Well, you went back to uh, Reach Media CEO and they've got a, a pay rise coming up, is it, or, or something like that on the 1st of Jan uh, June? Uh, anything to celebrate? No, sadly not, Kevin. Reach Media has come up with a 5% increase on the base pay rate. That's a flat fee which doesn't apply to the hours spent folding and delivering. Everyone's on a different base rate. Cassie, for example, uh, is $3.39. So after Reach Media's generous 5%, that'll go up to a whopping $3.56. 17 cents more. Pathetic, isn't it? Here's Reach Media's boss, Paul Forno. I think people out there tonight will go, well, that's not enough and I guess you know right now that that may well be the view um, we're certainly um, considering what we can do going forward do you think it's good enough we've come to the table with what we think is is a reasonable offer was the pay rise prompted by our story it's fair to say it's it's a result of the program we want to demonstrate some goodwill to people um, and and equally it's um, part of our ongoing a strategy to ensure that um, we recognise and listen to our people. We have not had a response like this in a long time. Were you surprised by that level of anger? Uh, yeah, I was personally, um, and I, I certainly had a number of um, Because people... you thought it was a good wage that they were earning? Um, no, I think every, everybody has a view in terms of what, what is good and, and what isn't. You say your pay rates are competitive, yet your main competitor, PMP Distribution, pay better wages. How can you call that competitive? I'm not here to debate their pay rates. I understand their pay rates, they understand our pay rates, and we're certainly going to look at our pay rates. Surely the solution is scrap the contractor model, let's simplify things, pay your workers an hourly rate. If we were to simply move our rates to an hourly rate um, or a minimum wage and our competitors didn't follow in the industry, then we would simply be uncompetitive and be out of business. We've heard that in areas where you find it difficult to find walkers to do deliveries, you've actually hired a temp agency paying them $19 an hour, the workers get $12 an hour to the hand. Is that not ironic? There are pockets where um, recruitment of distributors um, does become a challenge. But surely if you were paying a decent wage you wouldn't have recruitment dramas in the first place? Um, sometimes we're successful in attracting people, sometimes we're not. We certainly value our people um, and we want to make sure that at the end of the day the people that represent our organisation, that's Reach Media, um, um, feel that they are treated appropriately and recognised appropriately. 
Well, we think that a 5% rise on the sort of money these guys get is not appropriate by a long way. Paul Forno there of Reach Media announcing their increase in deliverers' base rates. Thanks, Ruth. Okay. Again, we're keen to take you with us on this issue, so please contact us with your views and any information you can send to help us. I'm sure there'll be more next week.